Hi everyone, Simona here from Vector Twist. Today in this tutorial I would like to show you how you can create a flower symbol with simple geometric shapes into a logo icon or even a pattern or create even some art out of it. So let's get started. First we're going to choose the ellipse tool here in the toolbar and then I'm going to click once on the artboard and let's create an ellipse of 144 pixels in width and height. I set the stroke to black and the fill to none. After that we're going to copy it to the front, so let's go to edit, copy and then back to edit and paste in front. Then with the circle selected we open up the transform panel and then we're going to change the size of it from 144 to 108. So just make sure that your constraint width and height proportion is checked. Then we're going to select both, we'll open up the pathfinder panel. If you don't have it open just go to window and click pathfinder and then here we're going to click divide. Now when we select it again it's all in one shape. Then let's set the stroke width to 0.25 points and then we are going to create some copies of it. But first let's turn on the ruler. So press Command or Control R on your keyboard and here we have our rulers. If I go up here into the ruler and right click I can change easily the pixels to the points to the picas or inches whatever you want to work with. I'm going to work with pixels so I leave it as it is. Now let's zoom in a little bit and then we want to create some guides. So let's just turn on the grid and let's move our circle a little bit better onto a grid itself. After that we're going to drag out a guide and place it in the middle and of course we need to turn it on. The shortcut for this is command and the semicolon or control and the semicolon on the keyboard and then we're going to create copies of our circle here. So I'm just selecting it, I'm pressing the optional alt key on the keyboard and then I'm going to drag a copy over to the side. I want to place it approximately in the middle here and then I let go. Then I repeat the same thing again and I pull it over to the other side. Since you can see here that I have my smart guides on, it helps me when it intersects with the others and then I just let go again. Of course now it looks a little bit confusing, but out of these overlapping shapes here we can create our flower symbol. Now we need to create another copy onto the right side, so I'm selecting this circle here and I'm creating a copy and I'll make sure that it overlaps here right into the middle. I'll show you in one second, I'll just let go. We want to overlap it over here from that circle all the way on the left and the circle I created just a copy of that both of the parts here are overlapping. Then of course I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and then we just need two more shapes. We need to create two more shapes here on the bottom. So let me like just scroll up a little. Again I'm going to select the shape and I'm pulling a copy downwards and I want to make sure that it overlaps onto the bottom and I want the inner circle line to be lined up with our guide. You can see also that it intersects in the middle here and then I let go. And now I just need to drag another copy onto the left side and I want to make sure that it's placed in the same position as on the right side and again the smart guides really helping here. So just make sure you turn on your smart guides on the windows smart guides or the shortcut command and U or control and U. And now I let go and now I have all of my shapes that I need for our creation of the flower symbol. Of course it looks very confusing at the moment but we're going to use some color first to help us see the shapes better. We're going to use the live paint bucket tool. Now we're going to select all of the shapes and then we're going to use the paint bucket tool. So here in the toolbar we're looking for the Live Paint Pocket tool, or shortcut is K. So I'm selecting it, then it says click to make the Live Paint group. So we have to turn our selection into a Live Paint group. So we'll just click on it, and now we can fill it. Now I'm going to open up a light gray here from the swatches panel, and then I'm going to fill in the shapes that I want to use to create the flower symbol. Because right now we have lots of shapes and it looks really confusing. So first I'm going to start here and I'm going to fill in the shapes with a gray color so I can see it much better. And as you can see our first flower shape is emerging. Then I'm going to continue this, I'm going to use a lighter gray so I can differentiate between the different shapes that I need and I'm going to fill it in again with a lighter gray here the shapes and it's just like putting the pieces together of a puzzle and you can see that we have another shape of our flower symbol. Now of course since we have a symmetric symbol here we'll have the same shape on the other side. So I'm using the same light gray, I'm going to fill it in and now everything makes just a little bit more sense. Now here on the bottom part I'm going to have this filled in with gray as well as if this part wraps around to the other side. 
But as you can see, I want to add another shape. So I'm going to choose another gray, a much darker one than our first one. And I'm going to fill in the other shape that I need for my flower symbol. So let me show you. Here, this will be overlapping and since we are working with the live paint pocket tools, I can easily change any color of the shapes I've already colored. And I'm going to have it move onto the other side. And of course we might have to pay attention here to the small parts. So I'm going to use the zoom tool, switch back to the live paint pocket tool and then fill it in. And then I continue on the other side here and it looks like as if it was going to the back. Now I'm going to close the bottom here. And you can see here, I have to zoom in again. I'll select the color, I'll select a lighter gray, then switch back to the live paint pocket tool and fill in those tiny pieces. As you can see now, we've created our flower symbol out of these simple shapes, simple circles, arranged in a symmetric way. Now before we expand our live paint bucket shape here, we'll need to make sure that all of the things are filled in. So let's have a look on the bottom here. We might have some shapes missing. So we'll need to fill those in and then we're just going to have a quick look very closely to see if everything's closed properly. And then I'll zoom out and then I've noticed I need to fill this shape here with this one into a lighter gray as if this part is on top of the middle one. So I'm just going to switch this quickly and then I'll zoom out. Then I'll select everything. I'll go to object, live paint and I choose expand. And as you can see now, we have just our flower symbol. But you can see we have these little tiny parts here in between because they're not solid shapes. If I'm using here the direct selection tool, it's all cut into pieces. Now all we have to do is select one of the gray shapes, go back to select, same, and choose fill color. And you can see now it chooses everything of the same gray. This is why I originally had chosen different grays to fill in our shapes for this flower symbol. Then we open up the Pathfinder tool and then we're going to unite them. Now I'm going to repeat this with the other shapes as well. I'm selecting the second gray, repeat the same thing and unite them. And then of course I'm going to do it with the darker gray as well. Back to select same, fill color and I'm going to unite it in the Pathfinder here under shape modes. Now let me turn off the guides in the grid and zoom out and here we have it. Our flower symbol. We've created it out of the circles, we've used the Live Paint Pocket tool and then we merged all of those shapes that we wanted together in the Pathfinder. Now you have a starting point to give it a color. Whatever kind of color you want, with gradient, solid color, you can make it smaller, you can create a whole sea of flower symbols or you can create anything that you like out of it. Now let me show you here what kind of color combinations I have created with this flower symbol. So here I'm going into the layers panel and let me turn all of them on and I'll zoom out. I've just used gradients, I've added my colors and I also added darker gradients to give the illusion of a drop shadow. You can turn this into a logo, you can turn this into a pattern or you can create your wonderful beautiful art with it. Now what kind of color combination you choose is really up to you. I just wanted to show you how you can break down a design with simple shapes and recreate it with circles and the tools here in Illustrator to create any kind of simple or icon or logo that you have in mind. I hope I sparked your creativity and I hope you're going to create some awesome stuff. And if you like this video here, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give it a like or even comment. And I would love to see your own creations as well. So please feel free to share them with me too.